Next thing we're going to talk about are ready positions. All right, now I want to make sure that you understand if the shotgun is on sling and my hands are not touching it, it is not in a ready position. A shotgun on sling is like a pistol in holster. I have it because I, you know, I may run into trouble, but I'm not specifically anticipating that I need to be ready for it. On the other hand, the minute that it goes into my hands, it's in a ready position, all right? Um, there are different levels of ready positions. You guys remember the old days when you had the low ready and that was it? Those days are gone, all right? We have a number of different ready positions. The first set of ready positions is for contacting a threat or contacting an individual. The sort of thing that you might have when you've, you've, uh, you've contacted someone that you're very concerned about, that you went and got your shotgun, but you don't have the, oh, the legal, moral reasons to shoot them, but you have your suspicions that you may see them at any moment. So you want to have this thing pointed in and ready to go. Now, here's the thing, guys. Anytime that you are in a contact ready position, that safety needs to be off, all right? You don't challenge anybody or threaten a bad guy with a shotgun if the safety is on it. Safety is off. Fingers at the natural limit of extension until you've made a conscious decision to shoot. All right, contact ready. The first one, contact ready, you're looking over the top of the shotgun. You're not on your sights. You're looking over the top, but your shotgun is more or less pointed in, all right? This is the way it looks like from here, all right? This is the way it looks like from the front, right here like this. This is the way it looks like from the other side, all right? That is contact ready. You are two inches from coming up to the center of mass of the target, and if you went and fired a shot right here from contact ready, that would hit their body at some point, okay? That's your primary ready to challenge adversaries. The next one is close contact, very reminiscent of Rex Applegate's underarm assault position. You notice how from the side, this is my contact ready, this is my close contact ready. You notice how the profile of the weapon changes, brings it in a lot closer. This will prevent any weapon or tension issues that may come up. You also have a heck of a lot more leverage here. Now, you can fire from here very easily. We're looking at this as a ready position at this point. So those are the two ready positions that you use to challenge an adversary, contact ready and close contact ready. We also have what we call uh, movement readies. These are what you would do if you had the shotgun in your hands and you were moving to the fight, but you weren't in the fight yet. All right. Um, what, uh, what they entail is simply um, having the muzzle under control so you're not waving it around like some crazy guy. The muzzle under control and the ability to bring the shotgun up into a firing position very quickly. All right. We have three of them. The first one is SUL, S-U-L. You will remember this from the pistol training and the Kalashnikov rifle training. Uh, basically, the buttstock doesn't need to be in your shoulder. All right, it can come up into your shoulder very quickly. Shotgun sewel looks like this. All right, from the side, it looks like this. From the other side, it looks like this. You'll notice that my support hand grabbing onto the forend is actually touching my leg, or if I'm wearing equipment, it's touching my equipment. The other hand is up close to the body. Again, the buttstock does not need to remain in your shoulder. Coming up to a firing position from sewel is very simple. From here, up to target. I lose no time. From the other side here, up to target. I lose no time at all. This allows me to move in a very tight, confined area or around other people um, without covering them with the gun muzzle. All right, that's position Sewell. It's for movement, not for challenging anyone. The next one is the opposite of Sewell. It's high port or port arms. All right, we use this if we have to move very, very quickly from cover to cover run and so on where our mission is getting there not necessarily shooting while we're on the way okay so we would hold the shotgun like this a lot of guys are telling me well I can do that in Sewell can't I yes you can but look at where we are we're out here in the Arizona backcountry uh, there's a lot of uh, here of course we've, we've got a cleared area but if we're moving up through the woods and stuff like that there's a lot of shrubbery and debris on the ground same thing in an urban area uh, that uh, that has seen some shall we say unrest and if you're moving quickly with your muzzle down like this I've seen it happen where the muzzle is actually uh, caught on things and it uh, it's bad form to fall down when you're running into position so we use this one instead all right uh, high port or port arms whichever one you you want to call again from here it's very easy to mount the shotgun and get up on target okay uh, just as fast as from Sewell just a different purpose a different reason the last movement ready that we're going to talk about is what I call patrol ready. Uh, it's also been called UK ready with the buttstock out or um, 
uh, Rhodesian ready or, or a number of different uh, issues. If, if we had to stand here with the shotgun for a prolonged period of time where there might be a contact at any moment, but we can't stick around like this for hours on end, can we? All right, so what happens is from contact ready, you eventually get to what we call patrol ready which is a very relaxed, almost administrative, but not quite, carry of the shotgun. All right, uh, it's very simple to move into underarm assault from here, or conversely, you can come up to the shoulder and fire, just like any of the other ready positions. All right, so those are the five primary readies. We have contact ready. Let me look at it from this position here. Contact ready, close contact ready, sewel, high port, and patrol ready. There's a couple of other carries that aren't necessarily ready positions. There are ways to carry the shotgun. One is simply carrying at the balance. You grab the shotgun at the juncture of the barrel and the receiver, and you can carry it in the field like this. This is not a tactical ready. It's simply a way to carry the shotgun. All right, and additionally, you might have what we call cradle carry, which is simply like this. Uh, again, it's not a tactical carry method. It's not necessarily... Uh, uh, as administrative as on the sling, but it's simply a way to keep the shotgun with you. All right, that's how we operate the shotgun. Those are the ready positions and carry positions that we use.